Well, that's some way to end the show. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Power Rangers Super Ninja Steel Vlog with the final episode reaching to the Nexus. And yes, before anyone corrects me in the comments, I know it's not the final episode, there's still the Christmas episode, but it's mostly just going to be a clip show, so it's more, do we really need to correct everything? More some like it's going to, the Prism Star is going to come down to help out the Rangers for this one last monster, and then once it's all over, whew, goes back up into space. Anyway, let's just get on with this final episode that I'm saying that's final. Basically, it gives us a recap about what happened, and only one line kind of irked me. This is one out of two that they that somebody said in this episode that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. They said that the Rangers were divided. No, they are not divided. Just one of them walked away to have some time to himself, and he got mind controlled. If it was like two Rangers do that split, then I would say, yeah, they are divided. Just having some time with himself doesn't count as divided. Okay. The Rangers find out what Odious's plan is. So, and she wants to go attack the base to acquire all the Super Ninja Steel metal. And does she know where the base is? Because, yeah, she said Mick escort her to the base, but what? Her robot Aiden didn't remember give transfer the code to how to get to the base, or... I mean, she sent a monster to attack the, basically, the back door of the base. I'm, I'm sorry. But yeah. Brody, Preston, and Levi try to go to the base, while Sarah and Haley are dealing with the captured, mind-controlled humans. Quickly, they called Redbot to say, Redbot, gather the ninja steel metal and get out of the base. Odious is coming. He grabs everything, but boom, too late. Thor gets blasted, he gets knocked over, and he is erroring up. As Odious is like, okay, so we got the base, we got the nin super ninja steel metal, and their prism star is here. I was wondering where that went. She told Mick to make a new ninja star. In the shape of the star that the original prism hold. She starts telling every, revealing her whole plan so for some, just so Redbot could hear the whole thing, which doesn't make sense because he's a machine and he's sitting there just erroring. So, and yet he was able to know every, Redbot was able to gather up all the info from erroring up. Also, a common person would have just said, oh, there's somebody here. Shoot or stab. Redbot destroyed, but nope. Well, for Sarah and Haley, they're trying to think of a plan how to get onto the ship to save everyone, but Haley saw Calvin was in the group that's being sent up, and she decides to jump in, well, guns a blazing, well not guns a blazing, I mean she just jumps in without a plan. Sarah decides to join, and all their idea is just look straight, march back and forth, well, March in place. They get beamed up. And while they're beamed up, they start talking to each other and you're like, didn't any of the Bash Robots would know somebody's talking to each other? Yeah, I know robots and everything, but still. They sneak off the split from the group. But they do see what Victor and Monty's doing. Basically still dodging the wrecking balls until they were just too tired out. And Cosmo decides, let's have you two juggle. They're like, okay, they'll start trying to juggle until one of the balls falls out of their hands, hits a basher ball, and boom. They discover that they're holding bombs, and they're like, oh great, now we gotta juggle them to make sure we don't die. Lucky for everyone, Redbot Rebooted told everybody the, what ha what's going on. So Sarah and Haley are gonna destroy the satellite. Preston, Levi, and Brody are going to stop Odious from com making her ninja star. But both sides are having some problems. All the Basher bots got unaware of what's going on and starts attacking Sarah and Haley. Sarah decides to hold her ground and fight the Basher bots while Haley destroys the dish. But Haley got some problems because as soon as she's about to hit the switch, 
Calvin appears, still mind controlled, and fights against her. While Brody, Levi, and Preston have to fight Brody and Levi's dad with a katana. Which, this is where I got like, wait, I thought they were just subservient. They can't do anything except stand there and march. But somehow she was able to get those two. She known that those two were skilled warriors. And just goes, you know what? Guard, do some guard duty or attack the rangers and whatever. And that's mostly it. For Haley and Calvin, he's beaten her down. Pushed her nearly off the ship while she's holding on. He's trying to stab where her hands are, and she's just trying not to let go. And her only thought is, pull out the gun, and shoot the satellite dish. While Preston, Levi, and Brody are getting their butts whooped by a skilled ninja. But lucky for Haley's shot, everyone's freed from mind control. Even Mech, who was, as soon as he was like, what just happened? Oh, God! Well, not, oh, God, he was just freaked out. I was like, oh, look, freaking out, because he's with Odious and the Basher bots and runs off. All the civilians on the ground who are still, who got free, just looked around a moment, saw Basher bots and Bodonna, and ran. And for Sarah, who was getting tired out because of too many Basher bots, the people who were on the ship came to, grabbed weapons, Attack the basher bots and throwing them in the garbage pit? How do they know where the garbage pit is? They could just. I, whatever. Sarah is saved. Everyone is back to normal, but they have to think of an idea of how to get off the ship. Victor and Monty, during that moment, notice like oh, too much chaos is going on. They're like, okay, we're done. Well, they lift up their pants to drop all the balls in, which any sane person would know, don't do that. They got bombs! Even a man knows, don't put the bomb down your pants! But it didn't explode when they did that. They all meet up, and thanks to Calvin, Haley, and Sarah was buttering up Victor and Monty, telling them, maybe these two got, maybe you two could be the heroes and find a way to teleport everyone back down to Earth. Well, yeah, Victor and Monty were sent on the ship before they found out how to escape. So, yeah, they somehow managed to work the teleporting device to bring everyone back down, including the Rangers. Everyone's all grouped up together, but they were too late. The star is finished, and Odious begins her transformation into a... I do not know what that is. I know it's supposed to be a Kitsune, but... I'm confused. She's shown how powerful it is by blasting everyone back. While well, Levi and Brody's dad gets Mick out of the way for safety, the Rangers fight. They morphed. They try fighting her down, and they're getting her butts whooped. I should have also mentioned that Odious made a speech, which showing how far she would gone for her power. And what her speech was kind of rubbed me the wrong way again because she said, I sent monsters after you. No, you sent contestants who are aliens. I know what they're trying to go with, but they are aliens and they are contestants. They are basically aliens to everyone on Earth, but on their home planets, I'm pretty sure they look normal to everyone else. They are contestants and aliens. Well, contestants, not monsters. Okay, it's debatable with Brax, but still. <laughs> Back on Odious' ship, as Cosmo and Beldana saw that everyone's, I mean, that the humans ever escaping, Victor and Monty decided to like, yeah, bye. Hit the teleporter button, lob the grenades that were in their pants in the air, and the moment they teleported, the bomb struck, basically killing Beldana and Cosmo and every studio audience on the ship. Eh, that's a casualty of being a studio audience. For the Rangers, they have to think of a way to beat Odious. But they do have an idea. Basically, since Odious is using a star from the Ninja Prism that is basically the same power as their stars, they're thinking, okay, let's combine all six of our stars into one, which will be extremely powerful, and then equally distributed to all of us. 
the idea they were trying to go with, but that doesn't make any logic sense. Ain't the power that star they're using is just basically the whole big power split into six individuals? Whatever. They somehow did that. Preston used a fusion spell for weird reasons. They're all given glitter armor, and they're beating up on Odious. They're doing a good job. They even do a whole beam struggle against each other. But the Rangers did their finishing move, finishing off Odious, and their last set for the battle shows over. Ninjas win, demorph, and they are tired out. <laughs> Back at the school, Victor and Monty are getting a hero celebration for their good deed, and they're awarded a trophy, which Victor finally got his 50th trophy. So at least that's happy, though he has to share with Monty, so. Hmm. 49 and a half. <laughs> and the Rangers are doing their whole farewell speech to Mick and Redbot. And Mick just goes, I'm not leaving. I enjoy living here. I have a, I set up a communication so I can talk to my family back to Lion Galaxy. And besides, I'm your teacher. I still got classes to teach you guys. And, yeah, they all walked off all happy. Is It was a not bad of an ending episode. It wasn't as mind-melting as Dino Charge's ending. And I did forget to mention that when Calvin was free from mind control, him and Haley did have their apology, so they're back together again, so that's good. It wasn't, like I said, as an ending, it wasn't as bad as the other series. It didn't make your brain melt, but it was a decent one. I should have mentioned also that, yeah, when, before they did their goodbye to Mick, their goodbye to Mick, yeah, basically, they gave back their Ninja Star powers to the prison as it floors armor and flies off. I don't know why it's going to come back for the Christmas episode. So, it's, that's mostly it. I actually enjoyed the ending. It wasn't as something pulled out their butts as hard as Dino Charge, and it wasn't so like uh, like the Mega Force or Samurai. So I would say it's decent. Let's move on to the Yokai fact. <laughs> Madonna is based off of the Oi Ona, meaning blue woman, an ogreish-like spirit of poverty and misfortune that takes on the form of a woman, wearing large quantities of kimonos and spends most of her time making herself look beautiful, even though she looks ragged, mostly appearing in abandoned mansions or places that was once from a famous place. Any trespasser who goes into that area are proceedingly devoured, as the yokai will then go back to what she was originally doing, applying more makeup to her look. Madame Odious is based off of the Ketsune. In Japanese folklore, foxes are usually considered tricksters, as they are more intelligent and having paranormal powers, which get stronger and more smarter the older they are. Mostly, Ketsunes are more like tricksters. They like to trick people, evil individuals, or whatever they want to do. There's even one story where a man thought he was in a hotel, relaxed, and the next day he discovered he was sitting in a, an abandoned building, eating leaves. That's one of the th powers of the Kitsune. In popular culture, Kitsunes usually be seen anywhere. Usually if you see a character with fox ears and a tail, that's usually a Kitsune. Even Pokemon has a bunch of fox-type Pokemon that are based off of the Kitsune. I will do the Christmas one once it comes out, even though I'm supposed to be on hiatus on December, so I'm still keeping that promise. Also, before December will hit, like close to the end of this month, I'll give my final thoughts of the whole series in general. Say about the characters, the story, and hopefully I enjoy it. I'm going to hope you guys enjoy that one. All I can say is... Till then, this is Rasa, signing out. Thank you for watching the channel. If you want to watch more, 
subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon. If you want to see other videos, click on the left or right annotations to see more. Till then! Thank you for watching the channel. If you want to watch more, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon. If you want to see other videos, click on the left or right annotations to see more. Till then!